see in his mugshot how distressed he was. I'm, I had nightmares for months. The fear. The fear in his eyes. I've never seen anyone so scared. They knew he was autistic. Terrified. You could see it right then and there. If they had paid attention, they would have known something bad was about to happen, and he needed medical help right then and there. Remember what Sergeant said? You want to go in for ten hours next time you go in there? You want to do that? Then have a seat and chill out. He was three weeks away from turning 20. He had Tourette's syndrome and he was autistic. He was a huge, huge sports fanatic. Wrestling, especially wrestling. He had uh, WrestleMania birthday parties every year. These, the, these guys are here with this, like, that one Isaiah's. Because Camden and Isaiah watched WrestleMania together. Uh, last year, Isaiah, uh, Camden put an empty chair next to the TV next to him and a drink. And he set it aside for Isaiah. They were best friends. They were best friends. He was just a really, really kind-hearted boy. He really was. He wanted everything to be better. He wanted things to be better for people with disabilities. He wanted people to be more accepting. His dad told me that Isaiah is at Miami Valley. He's on life support and they're saying that there's nothing that they can do for him. There's too much brain injury. So he was stemming in the videos and he just kept hitting his head stemming some people it just helps them to calm down it's not something they can control um, some people flap their arms some people do hand I mean he did all of that too but when he would get really upset he would hit his head The more, the more they try to, you know, control the stemming, like, the more, the more irritated they get. He hated to be touched. He hated to be restrained. Even as a baby, the car seat alone, oh, that was awful. He hated to be restrained. He hated people touching him. He loved to hug, but only certain people. <laughs> like me, my mom. I do know they stripped him naked. And uh, he hated his body to be exposed. And he kept telling them that. He wanted them to, he kept asking them if they, if they would just talk to him. Please just listen. Can someone please listen to me? Being confined. He hated to be confined. Absolutely, that would trigger him and he would just panic. In the video, you can you can see 
the hematoma. You can see it in the video. They knew he was autistic. Everybody knows somebody that's autistic. There's no way not one person there knew. The mental health specialist told him to quit being a crybaby. <laughs> He just wanted to call his mom. I could have calmed him down. It would have been too late by that point, though, if they wouldn't. The doctor told me, had we gotten him sooner, we could have saved him. What would have been his 21st birthday during the solar eclipse? And we're gonna take some of the dog's ashes and some of Isaiah's ashes, and we're gonna go spread them during the eclipse to celebrate his 21st birthday. He really would have been a world changer. He really would have, if somebody would have just listened to him. <laughs> the only thing I want is for nobody ever, ever feel this again. Nobody should walk around feeling like this every single day. <laughs> Why are there not more people talking about holding police accountable? This is vital for justice and democracy. Police unions say if cops aren't immune from lawsuits, they'll stop doing their jobs. But let's get real battery, rape, shooting unarmed citizens, murder, theft. These aren't jobs being done, these are crimes. Repealing qualified immunity doesn't mean cops can be sued for trivial things. First, they need to be convicted of a crime by the state. Then they must face the Supreme Court for civil rights violations. The battle to sue a cop would still be uphill, but at least they'd think twice before abusing their power. Imagine a society where police officers are motivated to cease egregious crimes against citizens. Recognizing that they're not above the law, they'd be more accountable. It's not just about lawsuits. It's about justice for all. So, let's push for a fair system where everyone, even cops, face consequences for their actions. It's time for change. It's time for accountability. Thank you.